I got a special story that I want to tell. And when I pulled the paperwork up on it, of course, I'm going to make another video where you could just look at the paperwork because you, you need to learn. This is very educational for anybody that still want to be in the streets, do criminal activity. This shit is very, do that gang shit online. Boy, you silly. Bro, listen, this is this crazy tale about some people we all know. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about the murder case with Frankie, Baby James, and Randolph, right? So, bam. You know, and, and, and you know, free my nigga Frankie, he on another case, you know what I'm saying? The whole shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> I, I think it's, it's some crazy pimping shit or something like that. But um, on this case, we all knew Frankie growing up. So, you know, he went to Kennedy with us and everything. He, he wasn't the type to cause trouble or trip or anything. So he got caught up in this murder and it sent him down a bad spiral. You know what I'm saying? Because first of all, I like to say, you feel me? He from 69ville in Oakland, not from 69 Street in Meadowview. A lot of people get that twisted. But let me show you how this gang shit really gets you caught up. So, bam, when Frankie went to jail for that case, he got fucked up bad by the Zillas. Because they was in there getting on Meadowview, nigga. Especially if you was from 6ix9ine and shit, right? But Frankie he thought he was going to skirt past him by saying, oh, no, I'm from Oakland, right? And, and, and that got passed for a minute. But after they start getting on all the Southside niggas, they turn around and start getting on all the Oakland niggas. And they fucked that nigga up, right? Fucked him up bad in there while he was fighting this murder case. This murder case that he didn't end up being me on. So I'm about to tell you the specifics of the murder case and how this shit crazy. And how you can get caught up on some shit like this for nothing. So bam. Um... I like to point those niggas out because mainly they from Oakland. They they recognize this from Oakland niggas. It might be six nine V or some whatever that is in Oakland, but it's sixty nine. But it's 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 Oakland. It's the Bay Area. They some Bay niggas. They rock Bay in prison jail whatever right now. So let me get to the point of this because they've been you know classified. And they not from Meadowview Buzz, but they've been classified as. Them. And, and when you get classified as them, as one. Bro, they can listen to your phone conversations, track your moves, everything. You feel me? You fully surveillance you just because you've identified as a gang member. You see what I'm saying? These niggas be tell. This is why I be telling you. They these niggas got a tail on, and these niggas be bringing the police around. Niggas that ain't even involved or caught up or got themselves in that shit, and then they you get caught up in the drag name. And if you do something, you going down. So let me point out how they, how this murder case really got. Cracked in all of this. Let me tell you about all this. Why I want to tell a story. I don't want to tell a story. I tell a story. Right? Bam. So basically, what happened is it's a nigga from the bay, right? And this nigga really, I don't know how he did it, bro. But he put in these um. Uh, he basically got a hell of fucking TV boxes. You know the flash screens when they, you know, flash screens started being in and all that shit, right? Bam. He got the flash screen boxes, right? And uh. He, he stuffing something in him. So the flat screens look, and he repackaging them. <laughs> the flat screens look like they real, right? So this dumbass nigga, right? These niggas, dumbass niggas, you know what I'm saying? Baby James, they fucking with these white girls and shit, you feel me? And um, they get, they Baby James and, and Randolph buy some TVs from the nigga, right? They pull up right there um, on Floor Road, uh, right by where, um... Uh, what is that shit called? Uh, the um, grimy ass apartments where all the crips used to be at across the street. But they got like a uh, what is that fucking uh, Burlington Coal Factory and shit. They meet him there. So bro, so slick and he got the shit ready. And I thought about it. I was like, if you bought a TV from somebody that was wrapped up, you probably wouldn't open it and look at it, or they probably wouldn't let you because they like, nah, it's brand new. Whatever the <laughs> got a nigga tricked him, bro. The niggas buy like three, four TVs from this nigga, right? <laughs> Bam, get home. Find out that it ain't no TVs in the box, nigga, I swear, right? So, bam, they mad about it. So, they got these little white bitches, nigga. So, they done bust the whip past the whole shit, right? Bam, they turn around and they see that the nigga, um, I guess the white bitches find them or something like that. They find a the nigga online again selling TVs, right? So, they have these white girls set up a buy and a meet to buy the TVs, right? Maybe the first was the first time they meet him did it wasn't that burning factory because this one was. The white girls, this is how they get involved. They call the dude and stuff and they like, oh yeah, we wanna, you know, get some old TVs or whatever, whatnot. Oh, my mom want one, that one. Bam. So Randolph set off this plot. You feel me and baby James get their money back or whatever, whatnot. So bam. When dude pull up, he in the van. He got the main TV 
TVs out of, right? So, when these niggas pull out the TVs, the white girls is there and shit, you feel me? Um, Randall pull out the gun on the bitch ass nigga, you got my TV, bitch, you got us for them TVs, I want my money back, right? And dude take off and run. Randolph chasing down Poppy. Pop, pop, pop in the back. You feel me? Dude die. That's how they get caught on that case. That's why they case and Frankie's was a little bit different at different times. So they catch them people first. Bam, you know, of course. I think the white girls didn't even tell and all this type of shit. This is the point I want to flip it at and show you what really happened. Right? So, bam, they catch Randolph on this murder case. And guess what happens? This is the key point I want to tell you. I guess, I don't know if it was months or maybe it was months or years later. Randolph had been identified as a Metaview blood. And because the police had identified him as a Metaview blood, they started listening to his phone conversation. Yeah. Yeah. So they did all this digging trying to find out who he was and was and all that. And until they found him and stuff. And then they caught him. And then they processed him. And he was going to court. And they found out that they had didn't have no more evidence. Come to find out, the gang task has been listening to his conversations just because he's been identified as a man of your blood. So this is my whole point. Knowing he really ain't a man of your blood. Never been, he's, you know, bay nigga. These niggas really wasn't from here. Didn't do nothing or anything. If these low-level niggas is getting recorded and followed by the police for gang activity, what the fuck they think they doing to you niggas now with all this thing? <laughs> See my whole point? So, bam, off of that, they like, oh, well, we got his phone conversations. We got his whole conversation. So, bam, they got the phone conversations where they did the plot, talked about everything, and here comes Frankie now. They bring Frankie in because guess what? Who they think they got the money from? Frankie was always getting his little SSI check or whatever, but not getting his little money and shit. So, they went and got the money from him. So, they assumed that Frankie was involved. Like, nigga, you wanted your money back. That's why he... See what I'm saying? But Frankie really didn't have nothing to do with it. That's why I'm glad he came home off of that. But that's how that story go, though. The whole point of that story when I was reading that paperwork that stuck out was is they had got on Randall for, you know what I'm saying, being a gang member. And so they was listening and had all his conversations. And that's what basically peeled open the case. I think the white bitches even kept it solid. I remember. I was in jail when they was in jail. So you feel me? I remember seeing the white bitches going to court with them and shit. I was like, we was all laughing like, ah, nigga, you go to jail with white bitches. We know they go to jail. <laughs> you feel me? But nah, the bitches kept trying to keep a stitch lip. You know what I'm saying? From what I know, from what I understand, you feel me? They really didn't tell on everything. Everybody was sitting there for a while fighting the case because that's why Frankie got drugged in. Nobody said nothing. But what cracked the case open was this uh, This nigga wanted to be a gang member or some or associated with gang members or something. And they they got they recorded this conversation. You can look it up online. I'm going to post the shit, you feel me? Because when I seen that, I was like, when you be reading these niggas' paperwork, you fuck around. Uh, and this is another trip you got to trip off of. It ain't never a nigga paperwork. It's everybody who was around, seen around. So then you see that other niggas was in it. Ooh, boy. Hey, hit that motherfucking like button, nigga, before I put your ass out. <laughs>